me, I'm Kevin, and today I made this beam sorter. This beam sorter can sort any kinds of beams. You, you mix a vary from beam 3 until the longest beam, beam 15. And now, the things you need to make this are some Lego bricks and then some tiles under this thing here and also this one and this side then you will need two motors one touch sensor a, a conveyor belt here just to move <coughs> the beam from this hopper to the sorting part and now for this part I make some kind of a hopper structure in here <clears throat> with some roof and also some Lego bricks. And then <clears throat> the conveyor belt is long enough which is <clears throat> spread from here until here. And then <clears throat> they come out as two <clears throat> rows of beams. So then I make this kind of structure so it comes out into the sorting bar as one row of beam. And now, for the sorting bar, you'll need um, rubber bands and it is way more than you thought. And then, many stud beams and any <coughs> other stuff. And then, now from that hopper and that conveyor, the beam is cool moving through all these rubbers and the longer are the beam, <clears throat> the longer they can go. So, example, the beam tree is super short so it falls down here. And then, the fifth beam 15 is the longest so it falls down here. And also, all those rubber bands you see just now are all driven by one motor which connects <clears throat> between axles with connectors and any other stuff around here connected with also some gears to spin those rubbers and then at the end there <clears throat> you see a bevel gear which is used for you to turn this thing manually <clears throat> So now, about this, <coughs> you will just need to throw some beams in here. <coughs> so, after you throw it, <coughs> the beams are going to go out to that sorting bar. <coughs> so, give me time. I'll take some beams. So now, I have a handful of beams I'm just going to put it here and then you see the touch sensor here and <clears throat> press it if you want this to go So now, you can already see there, <coughs> the beams that come out of this mechanism is coming out of one row and then all the beams in here <coughs> are going out and going to be sort in the sorting bar. So now, <coughs> this thing here, <coughs> this thing here all along the way. It's the place for the beams to be sort. So, for example, I'm going to put some beams. So then, you can see there. Well, sometimes it happens. So now you can see there. Beams with different lengths will just go to the different places. Okay. Here. So, you can see there just now, <coughs> I put the, be the beams with random lengths into that hopper just now. 
and you can see here that the beam is all now uh, sorted so then let's try it with some more lines the beam sometimes may get stuck there or get get up here <coughs> so then you can see there <coughs> that the beams with different length and the, the longer is the beam the farther it goes there and then wait this should be here sorry so <clears throat> and then the longer is the beam the farther it goes until here but then and the shorter the beam goes it will just go near here so then to make that work you will need this super simple program that you can actually <coughs> complete it with a single common thing here and this one is the wait for touch and then the B here is to move the conveyor and I split them both because they need to travel at different speeds the conveyor here must travel slower than the rubber which is in port C and then if you click it again stop so thank you for watching <coughs> and don't forget to subscribe